there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, today we are talking love and marathons. Well, you guys know why you are here. Today we're talking because the ratings are in, the ratings are in, and they said, you know what? These ratings are so low. Well, let's just automatically release it early. Because <laughs> what the heck is going on? What am I talking about? So, as you guys know, we are three episodes into season seven, eight, nine, depending on who your source is and all of the things, uh, because they can't seem to count uh, what correct season this is. Uh, but previously, as you guys know, the season premiere premiered at 278,000 viewers, which was only 10,000 more viewers uh, from last season, right? Um, from last season's premiere. Uh, and then it went up. It ticked up. Like I told you, I said there's nowhere else to go to the bottom but up, right? So it went back up to 323,000 viewers, you guys. And it was coming in the first two weeks. The demo was at 0 0.05 and 0 0.06, you guys. For the last episode that aired on May 18th, you guys, this last episode, episode three, the ratings dropped 55,000 viewers, you guys. That is correct. 55,000 viewers. Uh, it is a series low, as far as I'm concerned, uh, because these numbers are horrendous, you guys. Absolutely and utterly horrendous. The demo was at 0 .04. And, and I just want to shout out, you know, Marceau and Carlos King that said that uh, the episodes that the Mel supporters and the Melometers quote unquote black out of are the highest rated episodes. Can you make it make sense? And, and how you guys were going to watch the ratings and, and you guys were going to make fun of Mel supporters and the Melometers that, uh, you know, them boycotting the show, them blacking out the show was not going to impact them. And here we are. <laughs> here we are, you guys. Here we are. 10,000 less viewers even from the season premiere a couple of weeks ago. As you guys know, uh, you know, it's been nothing but tomfoolery that's been going on. And the bigger issue at hand is there's more things that are happening real time and behind the scenes and on social media than the lies that are being presented on the show, the setups that are being presented on the show. But again, you thought slandering Mel fans and Mel supporters was going to get you to tune into the show? Can you make it make sense? You think that... Uh, saying that Mel sent a black man to jail and that she plotted on him and she was a bitter ex and all of the things. You thought people are going to tune in for that? You thought people are going to tune in to see Martel be a victim? Uh, be a victim of, of an ex-wife who just, who just won't stop, right? Can't stop, won't stop, right? Nonetheless, uh, the viewer said thanks but no thanks, right? They said, thanks, but no thanks. We, we have Stormy uh, trying to be, you know, stirring the pot, being the bone collector. It's not really working because she doesn't like anybody in this cast. So it's it just coming off phony when it's all said and done. And, you know, now she's trying to play the middle and pretend to be both Mel's friend and Martel's friend. But at this point, you, you have to choose a side, right? Because at this point, you are either supporting ABUSE and harassment and DV by just standing by Martel no matter what, or you are going to look at this and say, you know what? I cannot be friends. I cannot be associated with somebody like this anymore. This is bad for me, right? Because because he's filled with so much negativity and hatred, you guys. But there's people in the cast that are still defending Martel. And now that the block is hot, uh, they're running to Facebook and all of the things to deny that they ever saw Revenge P. However, their own sibling confirmed that y'all saw the Revenge P. And I have the screenshots, you guys, uh, if they want to play, right? Because he explicitly said that he had screenshots, he saw the video, he was able to talk extensively with Martel, uh, everything, his side of the story, and that if everybody knew what was really going on, they would freak out. He also said that 
he would like for Mel to release the revenge pee first and they could go to a neutral site or somebody close to Mel and that he could release the version that he has from Martelli voice and that they can compare notes and I said he said that on purpose because he knows that you cannot just distribute revenge pee without somebody's consent right so if you are mel and, and you decide to play it uh you know to another party and all these things now they're going to try to use that and say oh she's giving consent now we can play it back and forth no 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 this is an active case you guys martel just got convicted Destiny just got arrested, although she is acting big and buck on these interviews and giving us absolutely nothing on the show except for slander for Mel and the Melometers and Mel supporters and hyped up over Sunny and Moses, but you have zero energy for your ex-husband LeBaric to the point that you are lying. Saying the SWAT team <laughs> came to your uh, son's doctor's appointment, you guys. Make it make sense. A SWAT team for being arrested for fraud and forgery and trying to, you know, access the benefits that LeBaric has through the government. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh, so, so, uh, it was LeBaric that called the SWAT team. It was LeBaric that, uh, you know, called the feds, called, called Homeland Security. Like, like, let's keep it a buck. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was not happening, Destiny. But again, according to Carlos King, the show is still filming. I wonder why. Because the ratings are in the toilet, you guys. And so it'll be interesting to see whether or not the ratings are going to tick up or not uh, for episode four. But for all intents and purposes, the preview that we saw for episode four does not look appetizing, you guys. Does not look interesting, looks more filler, looks more lame, and all of the things. Now and, and Martel going back and forth so over his arrest and that she's not inviting him to an event she's having because Mel will be there. And it's just a snooze fest, you guys. An absolute snooze fest. The rest of the cast is, you know, riding behind the Sunny Moses and Destiny drama and riding behind the Mel and Tell drama. Still pretty much making Mel having to prove herself and explain herself as to why we are where we are currently with Martel and why this revenge pee and why this domestic violence harassment charge exists. And even then, Letitia and Kimmy still didn't want to accept it for what it was, right? Because, and, and, and that's how you know that everybody knows the truth. Everybody knows what really went down. Everybody has seen those court documents. But because they are so wrapped up in their hatred and their jealousy of Mel, they're willing to be on the dark side. They're willing to stand with the devil. Uh, if it means that it keeps them on the show, if it means that they get a good edit on the show, if it means they don't have to reveal any of their skeletons on the show, and that is why we are here, you guys. That is why we are here. The silent and vocal support for Martel, for these people that conveniently don't have to tell about their lawsuits and alleged cheating and any other scandals that they have going on, is in exchange for Mel to be blamed for everything. Is in exchange for it looked like to, you know, that Mel's just sitting twiddling her up thumbs for the last couple of years on how she can get back Martel, how she can put him in jail. Uh, and that's the narrative. That's the false narrative that is being put out there, you boys. And, it, and I just needed to make it make sense as to why, right? But you thought that people were still going to tune in no matter what. And more than ever, you thought just because recruiting larger platforms, larger bloggers with more subscribers, with more followers than a lot of the content creators that cover Love and Marriage Huntsville and have been covering Love and Marriage Huntsville, you thought, oh, since this person has hundreds of thousands of, uh, you know, subscribers, they're going to tune into this show. No, 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 no. Everybody knows how toxic this show is. Everybody knows this is Love and Marriage Huntsville, Love After Lockup Now. Everybody knows it is full of frauds and scammers, you guys. 
because they refuse to tell the truth. And the only person that's booked and busy and showing legitimate things that is actually happening in their life is Melody Sheree Rogers, except for you want to pigeonhole her in this stupid storyline uh, and trying to make Martell look like a victim for being arrested. And by the way, it's not his first rodeo. It's not his first time being in jail, you guys. It's not his first mugshot. So again, uh, you know, this is, you know, this is what happens when you're so arrogant and you're trying to strike people's channels, you're trying to sue other content creators, you literally are alienating black women, which is your primary demographics for the show. And you have cast members who pretend that they are clueless about all these things, except for they're in those Facebook groups, they're in your guys' chats, they're in your guys' comments on YouTube and other platforms, right? Responding and going back and forth or having something a completely left comment that sounds like somebody directly from the cast or close to it. So their eyes and ears are all over this, right? They know exactly what is taking place. They are literally screen grabbing uh, our YouTube videos uh, to try to get the tea, right? To try to figure out what people are saying about them or if they're even being mentioned at all, right? But again, you cannot stop what is going to take place as far as this revenge peak goes. Uh, this is just the beginning. And if for some reason uh, they grant Martell is going to trial, uh, watch out for the subpoenas, depositions, and discovery, you boys. Because, again, plenty of people have the missing footage that Owen thought that they were so clever to do and remove, uh, trying to protect themselves and trying to protect Martell, that if you don't see it, we don't have it. No, 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 no. That is not how this works, you guys. You can't delete the evidence. Make it make sense, right? So nonetheless, I am, I mean, I'm elated. This is what I mean. This is what it means to stand on business. Just like when you guys did the petition to get rid of Letitia's mom, uh, that warranted, you know, that immediately uh, she was done. And, and then standing against the bullying of Mel is what ultimately ended up with the uh, bigwigs, the people at headquarters, the actual executives having all to fly to Huntsville, Alabama with quote unquote the core six to figure out how they can resolve their issues because it was making too much noise that the show was toxic and now it's making too much noise that the show is full of criminals and uh, frauds and scammers and you are diminishing DV live on cable television Saturday nights and people are not going to tune in for that. You are literally trying to trigger people and convince people that Martell is some angel. And it's never going to work, you guys. And it has nothing to do with being a Mel supporter or Mel a meter. It has everything to do with this man is trifling. This man is trifling, has cheated on his wife, has disrespected his wife, has humiliated his ex-wife, uh, is propping up his mistress who's still uh, of, you know, a decade, cannot seem to uh, get married because there's nothing that she has to offer. So, um, but again, you're still so upset that Mel left you for good and also dropped her uh, last name as well. And you have been on a rampage ever since because you really thought that you were going to get her back. And Mel said, thanks, but no thanks. It's not happening, right? But uh, I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comments. I like this is a special video. Uh, normally, these, like I said, normally I do it on Wednesdays. But uh, I was busy with some other stuff today. And I had, uh, did my little perusing. And I was like, oh, it came out Tuesday. I wonder why it's so quiet today. I was wondering why I didn't hear anything today. I didn't hear any uh, messy posts or, or messy messages and comments uh, uh, from certain people, right? I was wondering why that took place. Why Carlos King did a pre-recorded Messy Monday uh, yesterday and then kept saying all the live comments. No, 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 no. <laughs> what live comments? It, it, you, what are you talking about? It's pre-recorded. So now you're doing pre-recorded videos that you can edit, that you can control the narrative because now you're scared of your own so-called raindrops uh, calling things for what they are.
And knowing they're going well, reviewing this season with how this show is being edited thus far is a complete and utter hot mess. And you have to choose a side. Basically, either you are for DV and harassment or you're not, right? And it has nothing to do with who you like and dislike in the cast. You have to take your personal feelings out of it. This is strictly based off right and wrong. And we literally have active, uh, you know, cases and active examples of people experiencing real time DB, right? And real receipts of DB. And you guys still want to blame Mel and, and blame her that, that all this is happening. No, 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 no. Uh, so you guys keep blaming Mel, you guys keep coming for the Melometers this season, and the ratings are going to continue to dwindle. I want to see if we can get under 200,000 viewers, you guys. That would be epic. If we could get under 200,000 viewers, oh, that would be something. That would be something, you guys. Uh, so there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.